Welcome back to my channel, News for Kids. Before we begin our news today, we wish you a happy Gandhi Jayanti. There is an indefinable, mysterious power that pervades everything. In my tour last year in Mysore, I met many poor villagers and I found upon inquiry that they did not know who ruled Mysore. They simply said, some god ruled it. Our first story is, did you know roosters can crow more than a jet taking off, which is around 140 decibels. Consider this, 90 decibels are lawnmowers, 100 decibels are snowmobiles, 110 decibels are music concerts, 120 decibels are jet planes taking off, 130 decibels are ambulances, 140 decibels are fireworks and to be specific roosters calls are 143 decibels. Yes, that's true. As per research, the farm fowl can crow up to 140 decibels and even louder. But the mysterious question that we wonder is if it can crow so loudly, how is it that they do not become deaf? Here is how it works. Researchers found every time the rooster opened its beak to crow, it automatically shuts its external auditory canals, preventing the sound coming in and serving as earplugs. And hence, when roosters crow loudly, it does not affect them. Dear friends, we have noticed that some of you have been watching our videos regularly but have not yet subscribed. So please subscribe today and help us to cross our subscriber count to more than 500. It takes only 2 seconds. So what are you waiting for? All you have to do is press the red subscribe button as this will help you to get our new video updates and you don't miss any of them. And for those who have already subscribed to our channel, our whole team thanks you from the bottom of our hearts. Now for our main story on Gandhi Jayanti. Today we will explain what we understood when our Mahatma Gandhi stressed on India's economic independence and why did he advocate Manufacturing of khadi instead of buying imported textiles from Britain during the British rule. As per historians, early India was the largest economy in the whole world due to the trade it did, especially the overseas trade with many nations. Researchers say till the 18th century, India was manufacturing 25% of the world's industrial output. And not just manufacturing, but India was also a world leader in agriculture, textile and shipbuilding too. Please stay with me and jot this down. At one point during the 18th century, the kingdom of Mysore was such an economic superpower that during those times they paid world's highest real wages and lived in the highest standard of living. Let's watch how ancient India traded and in what did they trade. The economy of ancient India. This video will detail which natural resources were available to ancient Indians 
the types of goods ancient Indians produced, with whom products were traded, and the methods of transportation used to trade. Ancient Indians, called Harappans, used natural resources such as timber, gold, silver, and semi-precious gems. They also used fresh water to irrigate crops, and they fished abundant water sources for food. Indian artisans produced fine pottery, cotton clothing, and gold jewelry from local resources and agriculture. Who did ancient Indians trade with, and in what ways were goods transported? The Harappan culture of the Indus Valley used wheeled wagons or carts to get products from farms and natural resource mines to cities. From there, camel or donkey caravans awaited to take them over land to other countries. Ships docked at coastal ports also took goods on international trade routes via the ocean. Traders brought the materials and took away finished goods to trade in other cities and international destinations such as Egypt, Mesopotamia, and even China. In fact, there is evidence that silk, a product of China, was the most traded product in ancient India. Historians believe the first long-distance trade occurred between Mesopotamia and the Indus Valley. Later, Indians of the Gupta Empire traded knowledge in building, agriculture, and medicine all over the world through land and sea routes that connected Arabia, China, and Rome. As you can see from the game, making money motivated ancient Indians to grow crops, make products, and travel vast lands to trade. So, today we ask, what happened to all the riches that India had? Well, the biggest reason for India's decline was the British, who, from 1765 onwards, started collecting taxes from India through the East India Company. And, as the years passed, they monopolized the trade too. Then, the tax money collected from India was also used to develop other nations like Canada, Australia, plus what's more, British even used this revenue to fund invasion of China during the 1840s. Hence, one of the renowned economists, Utsa Patnaik, says, Britain did not develop India, but India developed Britain. Our external minister, Mr. Subramanian Jay Shankar, said, As per today's standard, British took $45 trillion in today's monetary value. What? Whew. So, how much is $45 trillion in today's time? Let us try and simplify it for you. As of 2019, there are 2,400 billionaires like Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Carlos Slim, Warren Buffet, and many such others. If we combine the wealth of all of these billionaires, the total is $8.7 trillion. Now you get the picture? We have one clip on this subject. Prayers were just, the land was lush and people hard working. And India was the richest country in the world until the British came, plundered the country and left it in ruins. It's a well-accepted fact that India was the richest country in the world during the Maurya Empire. For the first time in history, the entire land was under one ruler. The Mughal Empire is when Akbar, Tipu Sultan, Babur were emperors of the time. In Akbar's time, the 1600s, India's total revenue stood at 17.5 million pounds. Compare this with Great Britain's revenue in the 1800s which stood at 16 million pounds only. India was responsible for 25% of the world's GDP. That's right, 25%. Right before the British colonized us. 
As of 2016, India is responsible for a mere 2.5%. India was not only the richest but a major global trading powerhouse. You might be wondering, how did things change so fast? For starters, India was ruled by different kings during the Mughal era, so it became easy for the British to divide and conquer. In addition to that, there was no industrial revolution in India in the 1800s. The reason was simple, wages were low, so if you owned a cotton mill, you did not have an incentive to buy machinery. Not when you could pay your employees so little. Do you think India can return to its former economic glory? Share your thoughts in the comments below on how India can become a superpower again. You will know that the 4th of July is celebrated as Independence Day in the United States. Well. It's for the freedom it gained from the British rule. And not just that, worldwide, there are 62 countries who each year celebrate their freedom from the British rule. Today, we will teach you some tricks on Google search that you can try yourself. And they are really good ones. But before we start this trick, you need to do one simple step to enjoy these tricks. This step is to go to Google, click on the Google settings on your right hand side bottom. Once it opens, check or tick the box, never show instant results and save this setting. Let's go to Google search and type in our trick number one. Google gravity. Type Google gravity in the search bar and then press I am feeling lucky and see all the tabs falling down on the bottom of your screen. Now you can toss the tabs wherever you like it. Cool right? So next time you're angry and wish to toss things around, try this. Now let's type our trick number two. Zerg rush. and press I am feeling lucky. Voila! It opens again. And wait, what's it doing? Oh my god, I have to click on it. Otherwise it will start eating my whole search results. Wait, what's happening? Why can't I stop them? Oh no! No! Oof! And you always thought you were re really fast. Try this game. It is like a reality check. Okay, now let's try our third trick. Play breakout. Type play breakout on Google. And press I am feeling lucky. Wow! Isn't that cool? We all love to play breakout sometime in our lives. And if you are really overworked and want to relax a bit, this is the game for you. We are hoping that you are enjoying our Google tricks. If yes, then come on, subscribe now. Press that red button and make it white. Moving on to our fourth trick, Google Pac-Man. No, seriously, we're getting better and better. Yes, you can play Pac-Man on Google. Let's type in Google Pac-Man in our search bar. And then press I am feeling lucky. And ta-da! You can control the game with your cursor buttons on your keyboard and play the game. Let's begin. Cool, right? Before we start our next trick, we wanted to ask, how many of you always wanted to learn the guitar but couldn't? Well, don't despair. So, for our trick five, let's type in Google guitar and press the I am feeling lucky button. Nice, right? So here 
here's the thing you can record your own tune you can record your own tune and email it to us on this email id so we can use it and also make you famous by giving you credit sounds fantastic right but here do remember this this plays best on firefox or internet explorer now for our sixth trick let's type in google in 1980 and press i am feeling lucky if you wish to see how your parents used to use google when they were young you can just do this oh wow what what's happening why am i unable to understand the screen where have all my tab shortcuts gone for some reason now i suddenly feel sad for my parents thinking how did they use this computer back then and now i also know why they are so patient with me last and final bonus trick for all our news for kids viewers and subscribers before we tell you what our last trick could be take a guess on what it could be <laughs> Let's begin. Yes, the ultimate trick we are going to show you today is based on the superstar, the Rajni Khan. Go to Google search bar and then type find Rajni Khan. But hey, wait for a second. This time we won't show you what happens. You explore it. Let us know in our comment section. What did you find when you typed find Rajni Khan? And also, if you want us to feature more such cool tricks in our future videos, please let us know in the comment section below. Fun zone. To entertain you, we have selected funny pet videos. Enjoy this clip. That's it for today. Zoom in next time for more fun facts. Do not forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a thumbs up. Share my videos and comment down below. What are the new fun facts that you learned after watching this video?